the average person spends about two and a half hours a day on social media. I'm not one of those people. Turn it, pages keep, keep turning, those pages, that flies when you read it forever. I actually have a tendency to forget that social media exists altogether. I sometimes don't post for weeks at a time. If you happen to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even Goodreads, you may have noticed this habit. So let's do a social media experiment that I'm calling Social Media Immersion Month. I'm going to devote each week in February to a specific social media platform. Oh, you sweet, naive fool. And spend more time posting and interacting with people. The point of this is just to build more consistent habits. <laughs> nope. And to maintain communication with all of the nice people that I've met online over the last few years of having my YouTube channel. It's not really about building a brand or following, though I am of course open to meeting new people online because I really don't expect to grow much in one month. I'm curious to see if I have fun, if I get stressed by this constant need to post, just overall how it affects my mood or maybe even productivity. I really don't know. I'm going to do Twitter for the first week, barely. Instagram for two weeks, nope. Because Instagram also includes Instagram stories. Didn't do that. So I'm kind of going to ease into that one. <laughs> and then Goodreads. Didn't do that either. I'm going to start with Twitter because it is easier and more spontaneous to have a Twitter post than a Instagram post. I think this may have been where I went wrong. I'm not great at spontaneous. I work better with a plan. My goal is to post like three times a day. That is too bold. And also like comment and like other people's posts, obviously, since it's social media. I do not want this to take away from writing my book, however, so I am not going to be doing social media during the hours that I have set aside to work on my book. I can only go on social media during breaks or when I'm done doing my stuff for the day. So if you happen to have stumbled upon this video and you have never seen my face before, hello, I'm Vanessa, and I am a booktuber and author tuber, meaning my videos and social media content mainly revolves around reading and writing books. And I also follow mainly people in this general internet community, so welcome. Hi, it is Monday, day one of my social media immersion challenge. So it is only 9 a.m. right now, so I would really like to focus on my writing and I'll worry about getting my three tweets in later today. Also, writing might give me something to tweet about because that's another reason why I sometimes disappear on social media because I don't know what to post about. And I think this is exactly my problem. I worry too much about what's worth posting on social media and then I don't end up posting anything at all. Except for Instagram where I pre-plan like 15 photos and then forget to post any of them. I think I need to set an alarm system. That might actually help me out during this challenge is to set an alarm like around the times that I think I would like to post. This might be the key to my social media success. So I am doing my first tweet of the day. I have decided to tweet about writing and what I'm currently doing writing-wise, which is figuring out which point of view I want to use for my next scene. So I thought I would tweet about it. Um, and here you can just see me figuring out how to word my tweet. And then, of course, I want to find a appropriate GIF to represent my tweet. I was trying to think something that would kind of go with point of views, like the most drama, but I was having trouble finding the correct representation of what I was thinking. I was thinking, ooh, that's dramatic, or, like, I don't know exactly what I was trying to get, but I couldn't find it. As you can see, I ended up just going with the who would you believe tweet because it's kind of funny, like whose point of view would you believe? Hopefully that comes across in the tweet. I'm not sure how well it does, but I think it's still kind of funny and I like using GIFs in general because they're just fun and add a little something extra to the tweets. That's why most of my tweets tend to include them, <laughs> if not a photo. 
So yeah, it actually took me like nine minutes to tweet that because it took so long to find the GIF. But <laughs> oh well, it was still really fun. So it is now 1.45 p.m. and I have already finished writing yesterday's scene and we're in a whole new scene for today and that's almost 1200 words total and I also exercised and practiced a little bit of Japanese with my Kawaii Nihongo app. Um, Kawaii Nihongo actually translates to cute Japanese. I think I'll tweet about the app since I really like it and I think the flashcards are really cute. I actually took a screenshot of one of the flashcards earlier. This isn't sponsored, I just discovered Kawaii Nihongo a couple weeks ago and it is exactly what I've been looking for as a fun way to keep up with my Japanese. So I finished editing my January wrap up and it's currently exporting so while my computer is busy I'm going to do a little bit of reading of A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I'm currently a little bit past page 200 and I'm still really enjoying it, so let's see what happens next. Hello, it is day two of the social media immersion challenge, Twitter week, and I just ate a whole bunch of pancakes for breakfast, so I'm feeling very full and lazy. So I practiced a little bit of Japanese to try and wake up my brain and I think I might continue and do a little more of that. I'm going to be completely honest, I have no idea what to tweet about because I feel like if I just keep tweeting about Kawaii Nihongo, like I should wait a day at least before tweeting about them again because I don't want to get irritating. And last night I did end up doing my third tweet of the day. I ended up uploading my January wrap up and so I tweeted about that. I feel like that counts as a legitimate tweet even if it's from another social media. It's so dark outside you'd think it was nighttime, but no, it's only 10.30 in the morning. So it is now Thursday, and it has been a little while since I've updated. So on Tuesday, I wasn't feeling well, and I slept most of the day, and I tweeted once. And then yesterday, I was really busy, and I forgot to vlog, but I did tweet twice. And both days, I still scrolled through Twitter, and liked my friend's post, and I feel like that is as important, if not more important, than posting my own stuff, is to like make other people on social media feel heard and appreciated. So I'm not upset about not meeting my random three tweet a day thing <laughs> that I invented for myself. So today I want to get some more writing done. I wrote an entire scene yesterday, and I'd really like to keep that momentum going. So I am kind of working through something in my story right now. I am working on this dual parallel plotline thing that's happening, where there's one timeline that takes place in the present and one takes place in the past, and they kind of like mirror each other. And I'm trying to figure out how to make it work so that it kind of each story enhances the other rather than it just being repeating information because things are actually, events are repeating themselves because I'm doing this thing with a prophecy and a quest that's like coming up again 30 years later. And I'm trying to do this really cool thing where it kind of like, you know, thematically enhances the other one. So the thing I'm trying to figure out is what, in this next scene that I want to write, what part should go first? Should I write the past section first or the present section first and that's going to determine kind of how I write the scene and what information to include. I'm trying to figure out which one would serve the story better. <laughs> So the problem with being on social media more is being on social media more. I got lost in some Twitter threads for a moment there. But I did end up finding some fun hashtags to join in on and somehow ended up getting like three followers, which is crazy. I did end up kind of figuring out a solution to my dual timeline thing 
and I did end up working on the next scene in my writing as well as starting some vlog edits. Apparently last week's writing vlog was like 20 minutes and I don't even know. I'm kind of annoyed by it, but I guess I'll upload it. Who knows? <laughs> Hello, it is day six of the social media immersion challenge, Twitter week, and it's funny how when I get busy, I forget to upload the vlog, and by upload, I meant update. That was confusing. Or even to tweet, go on social media, because yesterday I did not go on social media. I didn't upload this vlog. I was really busy writing. I got a whole lot of writing done and then I was just going through and doing some organizing stuff like trying to figure out where I am with my writing goals and if I'm on track and all that good stuff. And I actually have really good news in that respect because this isn't titled social media experiment. It's a writing vlog now. Pick a topic self. For my Chosen One Comedy Book 2, I am only 400 words away from my weekly goal of 4,000 words a week, so I am really doing well on that. And yeah, that's why I kind of didn't do much tweeting or vlogging or anything yesterday. I also finished reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely, and I love this book so much. It's definitely a new favorite book of mine, definitely one of my favorites that I've read so far this year. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, if I haven't mentioned that before, and it's just done so well. The pacing was excellent, I loved the romance, the characters were all just so great, and that's all I'm really gonna say about it for now. I want to organize my thoughts a little bit more eloquently, and then I'll put that in my monthly wrap-up, but yeah, read this book because it is so good and I really, really loved it. But aside from yesterday, I was doing pretty well with my social media week. These are obviously the days that I posted. Didn't do anything yesterday, but today there's still time. And you can see what the stickers are because they're the little social media icons. So I'm actually pretty pleased with how well I've done. Also one thing that I wanted to mention was that on Thursday I remembered about Twitter prompts, like hashtags in the writing community, and I have not been taking advantage of that. That actually is super helpful. Um, if you didn't know, the writing community generally has like different hashtags that on different days of the week, there's pretty much one for every single day of the week, and you can kind of just jump on there and post something that is relevant to that prompt and it's a really great way to come up with content because if you haven't noticed I struggle with figuring out what to tweet about. I don't constantly have something that I feel like is important enough to just post on social media which I guess is partially my problem because I'm like what thoughts are important enough to post on social media and blah 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 and that's I guess a question maybe for another time. Or maybe at the end of this experiment, I'll go into that discussion, I guess, of what is worth posting on social media and what should social media be used for. And honestly, that sounds like a much more interesting video than this one was. <laughs> maybe go into some of that. I don't know. That could be interesting, perhaps. But. Prompts are a good idea. I also loaded some of the footage into my computer of the beginning of this week's vlog and I realized that I came up with a really good idea to set alarms for when to post on social media and I guess after I said that I completely forgot about it but that actually is a good idea. I have not been doing that so maybe I should actually use my own advice and do that. And then the video just According to the footage you just saw, it doesn't look like I did that terribly on this experiment. But somehow on the last day, I just gave up and decided the whole thing was a failure and I didn't bother finishing the vlog or continuing the experiment. This sucks. I suck. Everything is awful. What happened? Well, the previous week I'd been filming three vlogs at once and then this week 
Apparently last week's writing vlog was like 20 minutes and I don't even know. I'm kind of annoyed by it. I was overwhelmed with the footage. So what's the takeaway? I decided to try and have fun with the footage of this vlog fail and hopefully turn it into something entertaining. I know whenever a video doesn't turn out right, I tend to just not finish it and never upload it. And I thought it might be good to show that sometimes things don't work out and that's okay. Also, sometimes we feel like things are a lot worse than they are when you look at them from just a little bit of distance. I actually did okay. I think the problem was I expected way too much, both of myself and of this video. I somehow pictured it just like so much more entertaining in my head. And then when I looked at the footage partway through the week, I was disappointed. Maybe I'll try another social media experiment sometime. We'll see. So the message of the day, in the wise words of Hannah Montana, nobody's perfect, we gotta work it again and again till we get things right. Bye!